Alright, what's happening survivors? My name is Ludomero. Welcome back to 60 Seconds. I don't know why I didn't play more of this game because I had a lot of fun playing it last time and you guys seem to enjoy it as well. So we're going to get back into it. But this time we're not going to play on the normal difficulty like an idiot. We're actually going to play with Little Boy because I would like to actually beat this damn game. Alright, so this room is not very useful. Well, actually we need the map. Alright, here we go. Grab the map, grab the flashlight, and uh, just drop it in, just drop it in, drop it in. And oh my word, why is this controlling like crap? Come on, all right, grab that. Nope, okay, get uh, that. Ah, damn it, foot, damn it, daughter, why are you so fat? Oh my, hey, word, grab it. Grab that. Well, can't grab my husband. Ah, uh, come on. No, I don't want that gun. Oh, this is terrible. I'm actually thinking about now. Oh gosh, okay. Maybe he joined with the the wife was not a good idea. Oh my word. We're not get, I'm not getting anything we need. We need food. Thankfully there's a huge thing of stuff right here. Thank you. And grab a bullet. Thank you. Can we grab anything else? Nope. Ah uh, damn it. Ah that was horrible. Oh, we I, we didn't even grab the radio again, damn it! We vaguely remember stashing some things in the shelter because there was no room for them upstairs. Turns out being messy can really work in your favor. We got a harmonica, the book, and a first aid kit. Thank God. It's going to be mostly the same. We're going to wait as long as we need to. Just wait until everybody, because everybody's fine right now. So we're going to wait until they actually say that we need to do something with them. Hopefully that's as long as we can get because we did not get a whole lot of food. Actually, holy crap. I didn't even notice the box down there. Okay, so never mind. We got plenty of food. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna make it. I don't even think we need to worry about going on an expedition. I mean, it could always be helpful, but I mean, because we have the gas mask as well, so we'd be safe, but I don't know. All right, we might be safe inside these walls, but there are other problems to consider. None of us can sleep properly. We have to deal with this as soon as possible. Otherwise, we might end up in danger er, of falling asleep in the face of real danger, like saucer men from Mars. Was that a Martian reference? I'm not familiar with movies. Scratch the expedition. We're not gonna give them. Um, no, we're just gonna be tired. We'll be fine. We're fine. I mean, we don't need to worry about it. Oh, not even everybody got tired. Just us Mary Jane and Ted. Okay, that's fine. And everybody got thirsty. No problem. No problem at all. There we go. Maybe a problem. Well, we should have gotten more water cans. Okay. Oh. Okay, you know what? Timmy, we're going to get ready to send you out. Actually, we could send Dolores, maybe. We'll have to see. Timmy? You're gonna be going outside and you're going, actually, let's send Dolores instead because we, he, well, we have Ted in here, so we'll be fine even if Dolores doesn't come back. Dolores, head out there with the gas mask. What was that? A rat? Rats are usually smaller than cats. And what's with the double tail? We can't let that thing get to our supplies. Grab the ax, chop its head off. It's been a while since we showered. The smell in this tiny shelter as f is as far from roses as it can get. We had thought of washing ourselves. Too bad we didn't grab any soap along the way. But maybe we can do it with something else. Uh... Bullets? Are we, are we just gonna... Are we, are we gonna, like, rub ourselves with bullets? Are we gonna... Or maybe... No, we're gonna uh, snap them apart and then take the gunpowder and just dump them on ourselves. Dirty or not, it's the smell that's the biggest issue here. How do we do with that? Well, we got some spare ammo. Why not use gunpowder to kill a smell? I guessed it. I guessed it. Let's rub it in. Sounds like a brilliant idea. Wait, didn't we do something like this the last time? 
where we had a smell issue and we basically just busted the bullets apart. I feel like I remember something like that happening. Timmy has been sitting there staring into space. Is something wrong? Maybe it would be a good idea to have a little chat with him. Absolutely talk to him. You need to talk to him. Talking is the best way to sort out our problems. Before our expedition could get somewhere, we ran into a group of freaky people dressed like wizards. They were eager to trade some of their supplies for a few items. That sounds suspicious already. It sounded like a fair deal, so we invited them in. They were really ecstatic about purchasing a pair of old socks, which had been lying in the corner for some time now, living in their own life. The wizards got them in exchange for a few bottles of water, one of them placed in the socks on her ears and started to dance. They also really wanted to sell us their radio. They claimed it was evil and whispers about the return of the Dark Lord, so we gave them a bottle cap. Ha! Nice Fallout reference. We spotted some sort of vehicle just down the street, but couldn't get a good enough look at it in the dark. Maybe future expeditions will prove to be more fruitful. Let's go ahead and, and we still got the gas mask, so we're safe to go out. We might as well use it as much as possible. The boredom and silence are overwhelming. Too bad we don't have a TV to keep us occupied, but maybe we could take advantage of our supplies and pretend they're props on a movie set. Are we gonna use the axe are we gonna go full michael myers on this bitch i know michael myers didn't use an axe but we don't have knives okay ted and mary used to be a big cinema buffs before the apocalypse so they instantly jumped on this idea mary jane always complained singing in the rain lacks action so they took the axe and improvised an extra scene very bloody they insist the movie would have been way better if it had more axes in it just go full halloween Full Halloween or Friday the 13th. Just go full horror movie up on Singing in the Rain. Dolores is hungry and thirsty, so she gets both. Mary Jean's fine. Timmy's hungry. No! No, stop it. Stop it. Okay, there we go. Enough sitting around. It's time to send someone out looking for additional supplies. Maybe someone survived the blast. Maybe someone's still alive. Let's find out. Ted, get out there. Take the gas mask with you. Yes, okay. I wanted to make sure I actually had him taking the gas mask because I do remember sending somebody out on an expedition but I forgot to put the item that they needed with them and they ended up getting sick over it. It's been a while but we don't know much about what's happening on the surface. If only we had a chance to tune the radio to some emergency radio broadcast and learn a thing or two. I don't know. Because if we do that, it could break the radio, and that could be our ticket take it out of here. Uh, okay. Don't break it, please. Hey, there's the phone. Okay, thank God we did not break it. Okay. We were able to get a weak signal to tap into the emergency announcement, and the fallout inside is mostly gone. Okay. So that's fine. Mary Jane is hungry. And needs water, and Timmy needs water. Here, okay, so water, both, and you're just tired. You know what? I'll just give you some soup. That might help. We had thought uh, phone calls were a thing of the past after the bomb obliterated everything in our little town. A phone booth on our street survived the bombing somehow and seems ringing right now. Should we send someone to answer it? Mary Jane, get out there! Answer that phone. We answered the phone. We could clearly hear a gasp of relief from the caller. They introduced themselves as survivors from a nearby town of Hill Valley. We start talking to them and the call was cut short. Blah, 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 blah. Okay. So I want to see if we can actually get to this ending from these strangers because there's a reason why we have this option. We took some time in examining our map and found an abnormal symbol scribbled in a few pages. It had had appeared that someone had been hiding something in the area and provided directions to it. Should we send someone to investigate? Uh, Timmy, go over there. Investigate it. Find something good, please. We didn't find jack shit. As long as we have food and water down here, we can safely stay locked in. But we have to leave eventually. It would be a good idea to head straight to safety. Instead of getting ourselves in more trouble, if that's even possible in this situation. Our hope is that our brave soldiers will come to rescue us and take us to some well-hidden, well-stocked government shelter. Timmy had comics about those, so you know they must exist. All we need to do is make contact with the military. No! 
We're not going to make contact with the military. I want to see if we can get... Hey, Ted's back. I want to see if we can actually get contact with, with the uh, the people who that we managed to get on the phone with. Wow, Ted, you got quite a bit back with you. Except you destroyed the gas mask. But that's fine, because the radiation outside is mostly gone, so we shouldn't need it anymore. A pile of car wrecks revealed that we stumbled across a big parking lot. Almost no cars survived the blast wave, but we went in between the wrecks to explore anyway. Under the burnt remains of a picnic table, we found some bottled water. Those bottles were not in the best state, but the contents looked perfectly drinkable. I wouldn't trust that, but beggars can't be choosers. It would seem like the Bob's, the Bob, the Bob has interrupted someone's picnic. Frick you, Bob, what the frick are you doing out here? Thankfully, there were big fans of tomato soup and indestructible cans were scattered around the parking lot. Nice. In one of those trunks, we found a leather suitcase, almost untouched. We were a bit disappointed there was nothing inside, but the suitcase alone will do just fine. Damn it, our gas max was damaged during the expedition, but that's okay. Like I said, we don't need that anymore. The vehicle down the street looks like someone's work in progress. We observed it from afar, who the owner could be, or who could the owner be. We've kept our distance for the time being, but we may want to get a closer look in the future. This could potentially be our ticket out of here. Mary Jane's thirsty, and Timmy is both. All right, here we go. We're not certain about the situation. A trip could be risky, but... We don't, well, actually, I don't think we need to go out this time. Open in the name of freedom, came a shout from outside the door. We weren't sure who it claimed to be, but we could hear it as a group of people, probably armed. Anyone who introduces themselves like that is probably planning to kill someone in the name of freedom. Should we open it? Absolutely not. We're keeping that bitch shut. We stayed silent until the group on the other side of the door went away. They didn't show up afterwards, so we figured it was the wise thing to do. Let's just hope they don't come back in greater numbers. I agree. If they come back in greater numbers, we're probably dead. And despite the circumstances... Oh, no. That's nothing. Should we give Ted another soup can to see if that will help recover him? I mean, we're fine right now. We got plenty of soup here, so we can afford to wait. Let him rest a little bit. And we don't need to send anybody outside here right now at the moment. I think we can afford to just let him stay here and just let just let him maybe just slowly eat our stuff. Because we've got plenty of stuff. So I don't think we need to go out there. Timmy's salvage comic books are mostly harmless since sci science fiction pulp. However, some of them don't feature the brave Astro Citizen program astronauts, but cosmonauts... That boy eating up Soviet propaganda. What a disgrace. Should we banish Timmy? Oh my gosh! Should we ban Timmy to the wasteland? D Dead! Dolores, that's your son! That is your son! Why would you do that to him? Freaking hell no! Don't banish your son because he got a comic book! Wow, that hurt my voice! We graciously allowed Timmy to stay in the shelter despite his actions. We believe in the power of rehabilitation and second chances. Also, we're running out of toilet paper and these propaganda books will do nicely. Ted is tired, not hungry, Mary Jane needs a drink. Blah, 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 blah. It's become more and more difficult to breathe in the shelter in the last couple hours. We suspect there is something wrong with the ventilation. Maybe it got stuck in there, but how? We need to investigate, or we might suffocate. Uh, I feel like bug spray He will just end up bringing spray back in our face, so get the flashlight. Just look inside. Just see what's going on, and then we'll take it from there. And Mary Jane got hurt. Damn it. The obvious thing to do when it's blocked is to check what's blocking. However, when you shine your light into a hive of mutant insects, oh, I should have got the bug spray. Damn! We found an unsigned letter today. The strings are asked for our help. Apparently, there are a few survivors in grave data supplies, and we have a chance to help them. They're saying we won't regret it. Give them a soup can. We have plenty. We arrived to the location and met with the people who sent the letter. Twin siblings, a brother and a sister. They're taking care of a group of survivors, mostly children. 
elderly and injured people who can't scavenge themselves. He told us they're searching for a town and for any and all good, decent people in hopes maybe uniting their strength and making everybody feel safer and cared for. They thanked us and promised to stay in touch. How nice. A sleazy looking trader looking for an equally scruffing bat on his shoulder paid us to visit. Wait a minute, was this the same guy that ended up giving us the cat last time? Him. I think it is. I'm not I'm not giving you a can. Oh, Mary Jane is in agony. Uh, okay, fine. I feel like this is a big mistake. Uh, if Timmy does not get back here with supplies, we're gonna die. Yesterday during charades, we learned Mary Jane doesn't know how to spell anti de establishmentarianism And Dolores is sorely disappointed. She insists on home, or rather, shelter schooling Mary a little. Yep, sure, why not? A little education can't hurt anybody. As long as it's the right kind of education. There are right kinds, and there are wrong kinds. And I'm... Pretty sure that was the right one? Dolores does not mess around. What started out... Oh! Shit! God! Damn it! I mean, we don't need the gas mask anyway, so why couldn't you do that before the merchant showed up? We could have gotten something! The siblings kept their word and visited us again with a request. They're slowly running out of space for the, in their tent. Their group is fine, attempting to, to build a small camp for themselves. They've already gathered some resources, but they need some, some help to chop them, to chop wood and build houses. Give them the axe. We gotta help them as much as we can. And hopefully that can help hope us get out of here. Well, at least we got to keep the axe. It took a few hours, but we managed to chop everything they asked us to and even a bit more. Everybody was really grateful. We got a bit of friendly pats on the back, helping people and working together is a nice feeling. We hope to get hit to visit our friends in a new home one day. Dolores, Dolores, you're going to have to wait. Is the wait, Dolores is fatigued. There's the, okay. Oh, and hungry. Okay, so we should probably give her, her the last of that. That way she can at least have a chance at surviving the trip. Finally, we got a good look at this vehicle down the street. A tank! No wheels, but it was reinforced with metal grills. But where are the weapons? That's some kind of vehicle. That kind of vehicle needs a weapon. Let's get out of here with some equipment and find something fitting. Use the map! Oh, wait. We should have done that, should we? Is that going to rip the map up? Ah, damn it. We're going to need that later. We visited in a centuries-old battlefield in the outskirts of town and pushed an anti-cannon all the way to the back of the vehicle. We found the map somehow got all torn up in the process, but our project looks truly majestic. Wait. Oh. Oh, that's interesting. Wait, so can we just, like, build our own tank and just drive out of here? That'd be interesting. Oh, and, and Mary Jane got hurt. Damn it! Hey, yes! Please tell me you found stuff. Yes! Oh my gosh! Oh, but Mary Jane's gone. And, okay, well, she did. And we, oh no, just before the day, the day, the day after Mary Jane, the day <laughs> the day Mary Jane decides she's going to die alone, we kept everything we need! <laughs>this game hates me this game hates me so damn much we were afraid we wouldn't hear from them again but our friends are back the siblings have proudly declared their camp is ready but they have one more thing in mind for it a school they want to somehow educate the children leaves that live there they already appointed a few people to teach but they're short on reading material do we have anything to contribute to for this cause yes we do yes we do have it okay nope that's not what i wanted no. Stop. Okay, yes. Give him the book. Give him the freaking book, please. Oh, my word. How did Timmy get sick? He didn't even do anything. I'm sorry, but we have to. We have to. I, I have to. I have to keep one of these adults alive. I have to keep one of them alive. I have to. If we're gonna have any chance of beating this thing, we gotta keep one of them alive. Ever since we jumped into our fallout shelter, we've been wondering about the other door to the shelter. Should he even be here? What is it, Lee? It's time we find out. Okay, flashlight. Take a look. 
No, break the flashlight, please. And it was a waste of time. Okay, well, that's better than something that can kill us. We were never a huge fans of mushrooms, but a colony of them was growing on one of the walls. And we've changed the. Oh no, it's the mushrooms again! No! Do we eat them? Uh, damn it. I mean, we're desperate at this point. We got to. Don't kill him! Please. Please don't kill anybody. Okay, they were fine. Thank God. They were delicious! Yes! Thank you! Thank you. So, yep, Ted is okay. What's that sound? A galloping horse? We were rushed to the door and greeted by two men dressed in from the medieval fair. We identified the source of the sound. It was as one, one of them was holding two rocks and hitting them against each other constantly while the other was skipping and pretending to be a rider. Monty Python? Really? We initially thought it was thunder. Turned out to be heavy knocking on the door. Either someone either hate or uh, hates that door or is very determined to, and to have someone answer it. Do we open? Well, based on the fact that it was it's heaven heavily knocking. Uh, if, if it's heavily knocking, what are the chance is it that it's the twin is saying that they finished? Ah, uh, uh, but if I don't open the door, what are the chances that might have been the twins and we may have just screwed ourselves? But if we open the door, what are the chances that it's raiders that just come in, in to raid our shelter and basically just kick us out? It's a 50-50 chance. Uh, 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 don't open it. Mysterious sounds are coming from the radio, but they're hidden behind a ton of static. Do we want to tinker with it a bit and find the right frequency? It could be something important or it could be the opposite. Only one way to find out. Tinker with it. See what happens. Just don't break it, please. Please. Okay, you didn't break it. Thank you. I appreciate that. A slightly clicknear signal, twisting him with some knots and some buttons. A female voice talked about being stranded in space? She said something about her crew members are going insane and eating all the soup. This could be a prank or just a crazy person, but still, we wish we had a way to help her. For now, we can only listen. Wait, is that a reference to the sequel that came out a few years ago? 60 Parsecs? There's a gang of firefighters outside, or at least they're dressed like ones. They've been banging on the door, ordering us to surrender all of our supplies. They claim they will drive us out with fire if we don't comply. Guess the definition of a firefighter has somewhat changed recently. How do we oppose them? With an axe! Beat them to death with it! And then maybe eat them home afterward. Something tells me that at the end. Oh, did we just die? Yep, Ted's dead! There are only so many days a man could survive without food. Ted was strong, but it was too much for him. He starved to death. We didn't make it. These are our final words and our advice to anyone who reads this obscured writing. <clears throat> well, that's going to be it for this episode on 60 Seconds Reanimized. We died again. I think we survived longer, though. I can't remember how long we survived the last one. It feels like we survived longer, but I don't know. Let me know in the comments if you want to see me play this game again and try to beat it. And if you do want me to, to try to beat it again, please give me some tips because I don't even know what to do to beat this thing. Otherwise, I hope you all enjoyed this video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up. Thank you all as always so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Oh, because someone left the door open. Mom, I told you to stop. I'm sorry. What? This was just outside. Cthulhu, are you messing with me?